So friends, in today's video, I am going to tell you that if you have a Mitsubishi Split AC and that AC is making air cutting sound and your AC is not cooling properly, it is taking a lot of time for the AC to cool the room. So in today's video, I will tell you the solution to this problem. If you are a technician, then this video is very helpful for you. And if you are a customer, then you can also get this problem fixed and you can fix your AC very easily. So let's start the video. Now I have pasted a paper to check the air throw of the AC so that it can be known whether air is coming properly or not. You can see that proper air is not coming from the blower. You can also hear the sound of air cut. You can also see the grill temperature is not decreasing at all. To fix this problem, first turn on the AC and when the outdoor unit is turned on then. Now open both the nuts on the side of the outdoor unit. Now tighten the thin discharge pipe with a number 5 nut. Now after 1 minute tighten the thick suction pipe with a number 5 nut. Now turn off the AC from the main switch. Now open all the screws of the front cover of the indoor unit. Now lift the cover of the indoor unit from bottom to top and take it out. Now open and remove the indoor unit to outdoor unit supply wire. Now open the lock at the bottom of the indoor unit with a number 4 allen key tool and lift the unit up. Now open and separate the pipe of the indoor unit. Now take the indoor unit down. Now we will remove the drain assembly by opening the swing motor of the drain assembly.
you can see that a lot of dust has accumulated in the cooling coil and blower. Now we will remove the power circuit board by opening all the screws of the power circuit board. Disconnect the fan motor connector from the power circuit board. Now remove the fan motor by unscrewing all the screws of the fan motor cover and the blower screw. Now open the screw on the other side of the cooling coil. Now lift up the cooling coil from one side and remove the blower and fan motor. Now remove the cooling coil from the main body. You can see all the open parts of the indoor unit. Cover the open pipe of the cooling coil of the AC with a plastic nut or tape so that water does not enter it. You can see that sticky dust has accumulated in the coil of the indoor unit due to which the problem of air cutting in the indoor unit is occurring. Now clean the indoor unit with the pressure of jet pump. Please note that the pressure of jet pump is very high. High pressure can damage the cooling coil, so reduce the pressure a little and clean it. If the air throw in AC is less and less air comes and the sound of air cutting is heard, then clean the AC in this way. Believe me your AC will work like new and the electricity bill will also be reduced a lot. Air throw will also increase a lot. The garbage is stuck deep inside. This garbage will come out with the pressure of jet pump.
After cleaning the cooling coil looks like new. Don't work in a hurry, do it slowly. When you are satisfied that the cooling coil has been cleaned, then only wash the other parts. Cooling coil is a very important part for the indoor unit, so keep cleaning it until all the garbage comes out. You can also clean it properly with detergent water, this will remove the dirty smell coming from the AC. Now flush the detergent water with clean water. Now the cooling coil has been cleaned well. You can see that the blower is filled with a lot of garbage and dust. It is very important to clean it with pressure. Without pressure, it cannot be cleaned properly. If you clean the blower, then believe me, the flow of your AC will become completely new and your AC will start cooling the room quickly. Now wash all the parts of the AC using this process.
Now clean the main body of the indoor unit. Now wash the main body thoroughly by rubbing it with surf, water and sponge. Now wash the body thoroughly with the pressure of a jet pump.
after washing all the items, leave them for a while till the water drains out or dry them with the help of a blower. After that wipe them thoroughly with a dry cotton cloth and then fit all the items back. Now after this install the blower and motor. Fix the fan motor cover and tighten it. Install the swing motor and tighten it. After that fit the PCB and attach the fan motor connector. Now put the indoor unit back in its place. Now reinstall the indoor unit and tighten the pipe.
Now open the thin pipe a little with alanki tools and check the leakage with the help of surf and sponge. If there is no leakage in your AC, then open the gas completely and fit the nut of the outdoor unit. Now properly tape the pipe joints of the indoor unit so that water does not fall inside. After that tighten the outdoor supply wire as well. After that, install the front cover as well and put in all the screws. After that, put the filter net and close the cover. Then carefully put the swing flap as well. You can see that there is a lot of dust accumulated in the outdoor unit. Clean the outdoor unit of the AC with jet pump pressure. Remember to reduce the pressure of the jet pump a bit as high pressure can damage the condenser coil. If you clean the outdoor unit with jet pressure, then your AC will start working very well. While cleaning the outdoor unit from the front with jet pressure, keep in mind that there is a fan motor in front. Make sure that water does not enter the fan motor. By cleaning the outdoor unit, your AC will start working like a brand new AC. If you clean the outdoor unit with jet pressure then your AC will start working very well. Now the AC has started working properly and the grill temperature has also started reducing and the AC has started working like a brand new AC. I hope you have understood the information given by me, so please like my video.